Hi, good morning and welcome to another Coaster Crazy vlog on YouTube. Um, today, obviously, you've seen the title, it's somewhere completely random, somewhere we like doing different things. So we've come to the deep today, as you saw, the price is £13.50 each, and with that it includes like a full um, yearly visit, you get like a, a, you know, like a, an annual pass, if you will. Uh, but these are the tickets to get in, I really like these, themed um tickets to get in so not fast track i don't know what it is but yeah we're going straight to uh, get something to eat first it's really busy it took us about half an hour to get in and it's, it's rammed here it's bad rain outside well i don't even know where we're going i don't know it lifts to exhibition in calf I might have to change that, bit of the flicker in there, but uh, yeah, really excited for this, the deep, never been before, Lisa has been before, uh, a while ago, I uh, do like me aquariums, I do like fish and stuff like that, and something a bit different, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the vlogs from the uh, hollow screen and hold that we did yesterday, and uh, join us for the day at the deep. Right, so we've just come up in the lift there, uh, up to the third floor, and uh, we've got a cracking view up here. Yeah, you can see it's weather's not great today. Um, there was a Premier Inn just over there. I actually tried to book that one, but when we went back in to try and book it, it's been sold out. But yeah, so we actually came here, obviously for the the whole fair as well, but mainly because of the the scare attraction we did last night. So it was better for us to book somewhere and stay the night. So you've got the River Humber here. Uh, the Humber Bridge is somewhere behind us somewhere but uh, yeah we've got to get some to eat first because we're starving we're having our breakfast this morning and then i'll show you around the whole the whole place really because I've, I've no idea what's here um apparently it's got the world's deepest underwater tunnel because it's all it's all built under the ground uh there's some sharks there's, there's all sorts of stuff uh so we've got the uh cafeteria down here it is really busy in here Apparently it's better than a sea life centre though. So looking forward to see what's here. Right, so here we go. Basically just come through this entrance here. We had something to eat over in the cafeteria. And it was very nice. I had um, a, a cheese quiche with some beans and um, little bits of potato. Uh, Lisa had a lasagna. It was very nice, very nice meal. So straight away we've come in here. Um, very nice sort of exhibit. And um, looking at the map, you start at the top and then you work, work yourself all the way down to the bottom. So let's just see the time now. Five to two now, so we just say, oh my god, it's massive, isn't it? <laughs> just sitting down there. Um, yeah, it's five to two, so I don't know how long it's got to take us to get around the, the place, but that's, wow, look at that. That's a model of the of the ocean, or the ocean floor bed. So you've got Brazil, North America, Europe, Af Africa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Florida's there. UK, UK's here on an island, and it's actually on an island. The Titanic, if anyone wants to know, is down here somewhere. See, wow, Australia. It's amazing. It's really good, is that? Yeah. yeah, awesome. Oh, it's massive in here. Oh, there's th loads of things to read. Every one and a half centimetres of the hand bow is equal to one million years. Wow. Follow this timeline to find out how long it takes for life on Earth. It's a long hand. It's a long handrail. Oh my God! Look how far down it goes down here. It's huge, you know. Look at the 3D screen thing there. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, I don't want to learn. This meteorite, my meteorite, was found in 1931 in Australia. Wow. Touch it, touch the meteorite, it's been in space. That's amazing, that. Found in 1931. That's incredible, that. Huh? Yeah, it's huge inside here. Far down it goes down here. I like the uh, 3D screens here, look at that. Yeah, obviously the GoPro's not picking that up. But it's like a dinosaur coming. Oh, that's amazing, that. It's like a TV screen that you don't need to use uh, glasses for. That's like the new technology, I think. So where, wherever you sit is a 3D image. It is good, I want one of them. Yeah, amazing, loads of stuff to see and do in here already. I haven't even seen any fish. So this is something I've found that's quite interesting. I'm actually quite interested in sharks. Not only are they very scary, obviously watching Jaws growing up as a kid, there's a human there, that's a great white, but look at the size of the Megalodon. Uh, I actually saw the film recently as well, one with Jason Statham. Obviously it's made up, it's not real. But look at the teeth here. It doesn't really obviously show you the scale on the on the camera but we are quite a distance away they're like suspended above the floor wow it's amazing megalodon reaching up to 20 meters in length 60 tons it's incredible well yeah it's a really good uh, museum stroke aquarium is this because it's teaching you about dinosaurs and how they started you know like loads of starfish and sea urchins and things in here as well I'll see you in enemies from down here. Yeah, there was Alright, so we finally come down that massive ramway. It was really good to see that. Spotted this uh, shark here, this model, it's made out of carbon fiber. That is awesome, is that? Sculpture. Alistair Gibson, carbon art. That's pretty cool, is that? Showing you out, out of the ocean, some of the stuff comes and uh, they started going on the land. It's a really good at educational place, it's already really. It's a lot of um, things to read, yeah, loads of stuff. There's your first, one of your first major tanks. Oh, mud skippers. Silver lined mud skipper. It's really busy in here though. I don't see anything.
to the next bit, I think. It is very busy in here. Been in here half an hour already. Oh my god, well, it goes down even further. Wow, it's amazing in there. See, it's great. I mean, the projector things on the top here. If I'm honest, so far it's one of the best aquariums I've ever been to, and I've been to a lot of aquariums. That's a really nice aquarium. Nice tank is that. A shout out to Martin Gregory. He likes his. Uh, Tropical fish. Beautiful fish in there. Wow. Uh, Penguins coming up next. Oh, so it's, it's quite busy, you can't physically get to where you want to look. They can really smell the fish. Oh, it's even like themed, like a little pier and a crane in there. Oh, there we are. <laughs> yeah, they do smell. There's a viewing platform down there as well, so we'll go and have a look at that. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? It's so big, I don't realise how good it was. Look how far down it goes here. It's amazing. I think this is actually better than the um, the, the living seas in Epcot Centre. That is really good in here. Another massive tank here. Wow, it's huge. Sort of a little one man submarine just here. Newt sub. Places to sit here. Really good for the kids as well. Oh my god, this tank is huge. Whoa! Oh. Oh god. Yeah, group is in there. Massive. Well, apparently this aquarium has only got the three of these swordfish in the whole of Europe. It's got the massive potato group, isn't there as well? Sharks. Can't get to it though. We've got a rope here as well. Wow. God, that's amazing. Whoa, look at that. Is that a lemon shark? Wow. That's a huge 
huge tank again look there's quite a distance before we even get to the glass here's one of the swordfish coming now look at the size of the ray wow there's another one look at the swordfish that's massive yeah there's some really big fish in there i think obviously the tunnel that we go down is down below there you can't see it it's absolutely massive and they've got a glass elevator as well apparently i can just about see it there i'm really excited to go and see that some of this interactive stuff yeah it's more for the for the kids to look at and read and things there's a lot of more interactive stuff here as well really excited to go and look at the, them fishing there they're massive big fish yeah, nurse shark, sorry. Wow, look at the... I uh, just about missed up there. Yeah, it's a nurse shark. Uh, you also got the zebra shark, grey reef shark, white tip reef sharks as well, uh, and whip tail ray. Uh, so there's a lot in there. And there's just more tanks and things down here to look at. I absolutely love it in here, it's brilliant, there's so much to see. I've uh, just been looking at the, some of the tanks in here, you got some green, uh, sorry, uh, blue poison frogs in there. There's, I mean, there's staff stood around watching, oh there's another massive tank there. I've lost the thousands over here. It's a big ocean tank. Loggerhead sea turtle as well in there. Black stingrays. It's almost as good as Sea World. That's amazing. Can't wait to go and see the tank, uh, the, the tunnel. Because this is just a small section in there. See the swordfish just up there. It's amazing. Another big tank over there with a the torque. It's pretty horrendous that when you start to look into it. So most of the plants that we grow, most of the crops that we grow, actually There's a diver in there. Animals. Then we then slaughter and eat. And we can actually use all those plants. Again, this, uh, this tank's massive. You've got catfish in here, you've got what they call pacus. Yeah, so you've got pacus, uh, red tailed catfish, ripsaw catfish, and a tiger shovel nose catfish. <laughs> Absolutely massive. Look at the size of catfish here. on the floor. Oh, he's had have his tail missing. So this is like the flooded African forest. It's amazing. There, there was a ladder just there, there for the diver. There was a diver in here. Wow. Right, let's go and see something else. Wow, look at it in here. Kingdom of Ice. There's an actual ice wall just here. Now oh, that's really cool. <laughs> like the pun there. Wow. That's amazing. Ice wall. Shrimps in here. A bit plankton. Oh, glass shrimp. 
Again, so much to see and do. There's another ice wall there. Right? Wow, how, how long you, can, you, can you keep your hand on it before it freezes? Oh, oh it's really cold. <laughs> Obviously the penguins are down here. Oh, there's like a, a board there telling you, giving you the names of the penguins. I like it in here, it's really good. I like the way it's sort of themed as well, like a pier. Red belly piranhas in here. Yeah, scary looking things, huh? Up. Red Devil Crab, are they in there? Oh yeah, little crabs, little crabs in there. No, oh, it's a really good, um, really good aquarium in there. There's loads to see. There's even snakes in there. Garter snake. Just in the back there. Loads of stuff. Oh, they've got them salamandry things. So this is the uh, underwater tunnel. I actually thought there'd be a bit more than this. I don't know if there's a bit more around the other side. Wow. Thank you. Thank 
Oh, yeah, you see this? Oh, look at that. Yeah, apparently, if you look at Wikipedia, it's saying it's the world's deepest underwater tunnel. Because obviously, the whole like, attraction itself, the whole aquarium, is built underground. The top section where we drive in is, is, on, the, is on the ground. And then you've got this. I don't know how many floors below the ground it is, but it's, yeah, it's amazing. Enough. There was that, that was it, was it? I know there's a lift as well, a glass lift to go through to the top. Yeah, I thought that tunnel would be a bit bigger than that. Wow, it's just this massive tank. Well, look at the swordfish down there. So this point, we've come to the stairs and lift to the exit. Again, this is a really an amazing aquarium. So you could go left, you could take the lift, or you could go up the stairs, which apparently you get the same view. So there's a big queue for the lift, which is there. Or we'll do the stairs and you get the same view, apparently. I would like to take the lift, but there's a massive queue for it. So you could take the, oh wow. You can't, you can't get to it. Barriers in the way. Oh, oh well. That's a bit of a shame. Oh, you can get to it up here. No, it's been really good actually, the deep. Um, I thought there might have been a little bit more to it, but it's been good. This is the highlight though, this ocean tank. There's one of your swordfish just down there on that ledge there. Oh, well, the fire was just chilling there. So there's a couple of them in here, there's loads of sharks. And they actually label like tuna, actually, yellowfin tuna. I think they are, because I didn't see any signs for it. So go the next bit. Oh my god, how many stairs is that to get out of here? Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. Oh, here's your turtle, yeah. Turtles up here. That's good. There's a lot of fish in there, isn't there? Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, it's a bit dark in that corner there. They could have had like a spotlight or something like Yeah, 
So this is something you don't get to see at uh, many aquariums. Actually, the, t the, the whole top section here. So again, it's all glassed off again. It's another glass section, but this is the top of the aquarium. But it's not very often you actually get to see this this part. A lot of it would be like just locked off to the public. You wouldn't get to see it. So like all the main spotlights are here as well that are shining down to obviously give that effect. It's really good. You've got like a holding pen just here. <laughs> wow, it's amazing. And I think that's about it, really. Wow, look at that. Yeah, I'll have a quick look in the merch shop. Merch. Just souvenirs, isn't it, really? Uh, just, just a ton of teddies. But no, it's, uh, I'll give you a review now, because it's probably still raining outside. Really good aquarium, probably one of the best I've seen. Um, I think Sea Life Sensors have a little bit more to them, there's a bit more to see in them, but the uh, the actual ocean tank in here is one of the best I've seen, it's amazing, it's really good. Again, I probably said in the in the vlog earlier on that it was, wasn't was as good as um, like Sea Life Centre, uh, sorry, um, Sea World, places like that, Epcot Centre. It's it's only a tiny little place is this, but no, I highly recommend coming and checking it out. Like I said, you pay the one price, you get your season pass for the year as well. Um, well no, it's been really good actually, really enjoyed it. Loads to see, like the, uh, the sharks and stuff as well. S still, still more to see in here, and there's some more turtles and things down there as well. well I'm going to wrap it up now. Um, next vlogs to come, we've still got Tull is the hell to go to. Um, Fantasy Island might be making a trip to there. Just check out uh, Fan uh, Fear Island. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the last vlogs. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.